myself like who is this guys welcome back to my channel it's naela so today i have the long awaited fancy review for you guys i was waiting so long for a new concealer to come out i've just been over the ones i've been using so today we're just gonna get right into the tutorial slash review and i'll just let y'all know my thoughts on the products and we'll just see how this goes keep on watching so I got my products on Friday, right when it came out. I was not playing. I was going to give Brianna all of my coins for this concealer and setting powder. Like I told y'all, like my old setting powder, I used the Sasha Buttercup, and it was just way too yellow for me. I was just over it. So I was so excited when this came out. So I got the Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the color Banana from Fenty. It's so cute like the packaging is bomb like she really put all of her time and effort in this so so excited to try for you guys and i got the concealer i got it in the shade 330 here's the concealer so let's just get started I already primed and um lotion my face already i used the bobby brown face base and I already have the Fenty Beauty Primer, Soft Matte Primer. I already used it on my face. So we're just gonna jump right in. Come on. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So for foundation, I, I haven't been using the Fenty um, foundation because it's really drying on my skin. I have, I have a mixed skin type. Like, in the summer, I'm oily. In the winter, I'm dry. So, it's not for me in the winter. And I've been having problems finding my correct shade. Excuse my dirty foundation. <laughs> but I have gotten rematched the other day. And I am the shade 350. I, I still think it's a little too dark. But, hey, it's closest to me in the winter. So, we're just going to use that on my skin. I might do one side Fenty because I know like I'm not going to tell y'all to go out and buy a Fenty foundation and you don't really need to. You could just use the same foundation that you already have. Just get the concealer because it's bomb. We will see if it's bomb. <laughs> I've just been watching videos and everybody says bomb so we're going to see. But you don't have to get the foundation like I, she came out with a um, with a beauty sponge and a brush, I believe. But I didn't get them because I already have a beauty blender, so and I already have a brush, so I don't really think it's needed to buy. I was just mainly getting the the um, concealer and setting powder. So I want to say you don't have to buy the foundation or anything. So I'm gonna do one side. Fenty, the other Too Faced, just to show y'all that you don't really need the products to work well. So this is going to be Fenty on my right, See, on you guys' left, I believe. And I also use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Praline. I think that's how you say it. I'm going to use that on my left. Just to show y'all, like, you don't need to buy these extra products. Well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't have to buy. So I'm just.
foundation is on, so let's move on to concealer. So I told you I used the shade 330, and the concealer is known to be crease proof. So we'll see, because I already have like, I kind of already have bags, not bags, but lines underneath my eyes already naturally. So I'm gonna see how that works for me and the no creasing. Cause normally the concealer I've been using was the ColourPop. It would just go right in my creases and throughout the day, it would just look a mess. So we're gonna see how this works. And I wanted a shade lighter. Like I wanted a highlight shade, but not too light. So that's why I think this is a good shade for me. Cause I do like natural concealer sometimes, but sometimes I want it a little brightness underneath my eyes. So I put it underneath my eyes, on my nose, forehead, and chin area. I sometimes put on my smile line because it's crease proof. We will see. And let's just blend that out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And it's not drying. Like the concealer, one thing I do like, it's not drying like the um, foundation is. So that's another good thing about that. Cause my skin is dry in the winter time. So I have to really like prep it so it can be nice and moisturized throughout the day and not get dry and crackly. But it's looking real good right now. Wow. On both sides with the Fenty and the Too Faced. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Rihanna sis. We're just blending it out on the Fenty side, Fenty foundation side. Underneath my eyes. Wow. It's blending out so seamlessly. And like I told you, I have like a natural line underneath my eyes. So to kind of get rid of that is bomb. Wow, this looks so good. Okay, Rihanna girl. We see you, sis. And now I'm gonna blend it out on the Too Faced side. Yeah, it's not drawing at all. That's bomb. <laughs> okay, let's go on Too Faced side too. Okay. Y'all, I was so hyped for this to come out, but right in time for a new concealer. Okay, it's all blended out, I believe. And it's looking real good. You're about to be flawless. <laughs> like even my creases, it's still going in my creases a little bit, I can see, but it's not bad at all. Okay, time for the setting powder. So I got the shade Banana, and this is how it looks. The only thing I don't like about this is like, to get the powder out, you kinda have to, I guess you have to dump it in this, but I didn't really want to, cause the top is so cute, but, and it's kinda messy a little bit. Okay, I got a little out on the top. Always blow it to get the extra off. So I just blend out concealer again and I'm pressing in the setting powder.
I like this color, like. It's not looking ashy or anything. Like the Sasha Buttercup was too yellow. And I think this is good on my skin tone. Wow. It, you see how it just got rid of that line that I was telling y'all about? That's just like one of my problem areas with my face is that line. And it's like gone. I'm shook. <laughs> okay, Fenty. Let's do the Too Faced Under Eye. Oh, wow. That came out a lot. This doesn't feel too dry. The setting powders, I mean, they're going to be a little drier because they're setting your concealer, so. That's a fact. Okay, this side. Seems a little dry. Underneath my eye. Maybe if I don't blend it, it'll be. This is the Too Faced eye. Wow. Y'all, I look good. <laughs> like, honestly. So I'm gonna just set the rest of the places I put the concealer. This is really a good shade. Cause I think it was one shade underneath this one. I think it's called Hazelnut, if I'm not mistaken. And when I tried it on in the store, it looked too dark. So I was like, ooh, bananas should be good. So I'm just setting under my cheekbones where my contour will go. And I gotta set my forehead because it's looking a little greasy. And my nose. Y'all, this is looking really good right now. I see what the hype is about. And I gotta do my eye of top, of course. Okay, it still looks good on the Too Faced side. So I guess whatever foundation you use, it's gonna work with it, but as it should, but I just wanted to test it out for you guys. Because you shouldn't have to buy the whole foundation, all that, just to use a setting powder or concealer from a brand. Because it might not work for you, so. But the other powders might. So I just wanted to show you guys. Because I kind of see my eyebrows on that. Wow, my face is looking good. <laughs> Y'all, I'm shook. <laughs> Honestly. Like, I, the lines I was telling y'all about, gone. <laughs> Let me just set my whole face at this point. Okay. This looks good. We're looking good. Okay. So I'm going to just do the rest of my face off camera and come back and just tell y'all my final thoughts on this concealer and setting powder. So let, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back with my full face done. Let me know if you like these lashes. They are from Better Me Lashes. And I have a coupon code for you guys. And my it's my name, Naela. So I'll just have it in the description box and you get money off your order if you use my code. But for the review, I love the concealer. I was so happy it came out Friday. Like I was really waiting for a new concealer. And I like the color. It looks good on both the Fenty Beauty side and the Too Faced side. The setting powder is bomb also. No flashback. I did a photo test. I will 
show you guys that in the video if I remember. <laughs> but just overall, I think they are both good products. I do recommend them and I suggest you guys go get them in the Sephora store or order them online. Y'all, I'm just looking at myself like, girl, you look good. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching this video. Go check out my last videos and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.